Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the semi-final of the ATW Loose Corner 2011. I am Hakeem Johnson, your ATW commentator as always, and what a journey it has been. We started with 16 competitors, and now we are down to just four. Well, actually, I should say we are now down to just three, because in our first semi-finals match, it was Ryu defeating Kankuro in that match, but we'll have more update on Ryu later as this match rolls on. And now the winner of this match between that man Mew and the Japanese Rattlesnake and Musai Master Sagat, the winner between those two will meet Ryu maybe in the finals for the ACW tournament. The winner of that final match will be able to claim themselves as the king of ACW, the king of the Wii, whatever you want to call it. But however, we are going to be in for one match. As you can see, new the Japanese rattlesnake in the ring right now. He is pumped. He is ready to go. He is determined to be the elite of ACW. But in order for him to claim himself that, he's going to have to go through the guy. As you can see the guy right there coming out. The guy has been an impressive force here in ACW. After the guy debuted here on the tournament, defeating two men now to go through and be in the semifinals here. The guy, the master of the Tiger Destruction, the master of the Tiger Uppercut, the master of the Tiger Suplex. He is the Muay Thai master, the king of Muay Thai. And the guess you guys going to have to be kind of worrisome about the fact that the guy is a whole different kind of opponent that we can have faced. Again, the winner of this match will meet, meet, will meet Ryu in the finals of the ACW League Tournament. And honestly, what a tournament has been. We want to thank you guys, the ACW fans, for watching. Having said that, here we go. The final semi-finals match. Say that five times fast. Mugen Sagat. The winner faces Ryu. And here we go. The bell starts. Sagat Irish. Mugen tosses him aside. Oh my goodness. Mugen with the punches. And Sagat sent over the top rope. Already with Mugen, a fiery Mugen to start things off here. Who would have thunk that? And Sagat's right back up. Kind of shocked that Mugen got one up him in this match to start off. And, and Mugen's already taunting Sagat here. And oh my goodness. And Sagat won't take that. But Mugen once again with a punch. And Sagat goes over the top rope again. Clearly Mugen is here to work tonight. Clearly, Mugen has that fire and passion to win this whole tournament. And Sagat doesn't have no answer for it right now. And again, Mugen insulting him and Sagat's going to come into the ring. Sagat, no, Mugen out of the the reversal and takes him down with those shoulder thrusts. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first semifinals of this match, it was Ryu going one-on-one -on -one against Kankuro. Ryu won the match and will be going to the finals. But here's the thing that we won't understand until a few days later. The fact of the matter is that after Ryu won the match, Kekuro and his protege Shoji Akamichi ambushed Ryu and brutally assaulted him in, in, that, in that aftermath of the match. And as a result, we have no idea about Ryu's condition. We have not heard anything new yet. Once we hear any updates about Ryu's condition, we will post it on the website. Or if it even comes up here, wait a minute, Ryu with the cover. One, two, no, the guy will kick out. But as I was trying to say, if we have any updates about Ryu's condition from that attack, we will update it on the website or on YouTube or on VO, Blitz TV, or if it comes up during this match, we will let you know ahead of time. But as it stands right now, we will be going to the finals to face the winner of this match between Mugen and Sagat. Oh my goodness, Sagat with a kick to the face of high elevation. But again, the question has to be asked, if Ryu cannot compete in the finals, if that attack really has prevented him from competing in the finals, does that mean Mugen or Sagat, the winner of this match right now, do either one of them get to automatically claim to be the king of anime? Or is it, does this mean that Sagat or does this mean Mugen will be king of anime without being in the finals or having an opponent in the finals? So many questions lingering right now about the finals and about this match because this will determine where we stand in this tournament but we will let you know we will have updates and anything newly developing as time rolls on so we will let you know you'll only find out on the ACW website you'll find out all the other channels back to this match now Sagat looks to be controlling Mugen after Mugen had those flurries of punches to start the match 
The guy with the Irish shirt on the Mugen. Oh, and a big foot right down. Takes down the Japanese rattlesnake. And so that's going to go for the cover here. One, two. No, we can get the shoulder up at one. And the knee right to the gut by Sagat. No, Mugen reversed it with the arm wrench. Now with this, Mugen working on the arm of Sagat. Despite Sagat's big arm, it's not looking like Mugen's trying to take advantage of the arms here. And now Mugen here. And once again, for the third time, Sagat goes over the top row with those punches. This time Mugen's going to follow suit. Irish trip off to the barricade. And Mugen now, Mugen, Mugen picks up the god and tugs him over the top of the barricade. You saw that coming. Now Mugen, now, wait, Mugen's going to toss the guy over the barricade, and it looks like we're into the crowd arena er, area here. So it looks like the fans picked the best seat in the house, apparently, for this match. Uh, wait a minute, Sagat, Sagat's got the sleeper hold, Sagat's got that sleeper hold, and you got to do it in the ring, but Sagat doesn't care, he wants to drain Mugen right now. And he still has it, and Mugen looks to be fading by the second here. And what, what's this? Oh, come, oh, come on! So God just ripped out a sign that says support the truth. How an American can you be? That's that's disgusting. Have you no shame? That's the God now. Oh no, it's oh no, wait a minute. Come on, come on, no! Oh my goodness! The so God tossed Mugen over the barricade onto the crowd. It looks like the so God's gonna take every advantage he needs to do to advance here. Man, so God, as oppressive as he is, he can always be very calculating and cold and low as he's shown himself here in this match. I don't know why he needs to do it. He's very skillful, but who knows? You can try that spirit of punches, but once again, the guy with those uppercuts, the master of uppercuts here. Now, so God, Irish is Mugen onto the steel pole. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, we see too many of this. No, come on! Mugen with that steel pole shot. Off to him by Sagat. He's gonna go for the cut. No, he's not. Sagat now is gonna grab Mugen's hair. Oh, it smashes the knee onto the arm. Ladies and gentlemen, as this tournament is coming to a close, ACW Genesis is getting that much closer. It's coming in December. And ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a night, an important night for ACW. ACW is monkey. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Sagat! Sagat wants to get with the sleeper hold, and it's in the ring this time. So Mugen ha might have no choice but to tap out here. Can Mugen grab the ropes here? The guy is not letting go. And I doubt he's going to even let go. Oh my goodness. He's, oh my god. And Mugen's down. So that could really be just covering him here, here. But that wouldn't be very Sagat, wouldn't it? And another knee to the arm. But as I was trying to say, ACW Genesis is coming very close to ACW and its programming. It'll be an important night, an important mega event for ACW. It will mark the two and a half year hiatus ACW has took in, and it will mark a new starting era for ACW as we come back after we are closed in 2011 and starting anew in 2012, which will mean bigger for ACW and will mean bigger for the fans as well. Now, so God, now I rushes off this music. Oh, and a big foot once again. We will run down the car during this match, and we will also run down the car one more time right after this match as well. For the time being, Sagat. Oh my goodness. The power. The power that Sagat displays. He's not only flexible, but he is a big guy. He is very powerful. And Mugen is down. I have no idea how Mugen's going to survive Sagat's skill here, but look at this. Mugen up top. Oh my goodness. No, Mugen got out of the way from that diving kick of Sagat. And the clothesline sends down the Mortai Master. And now Mugen looks to be coming back. Back suplex shot off to Sagat. And it looks like Mugen is coming back with a flurry of offense here in the clothesline. Sends Sagat Loopy there. And now Mugen once again with the Irish off to Sagat. Oh my goodness, Mugen is just giving, taking it on right now. Oh my goodness, Sagat goes to the top with those punches once again. Those punches seem to be working for Mugen. So, I have no idea. What's this now? Mugen coming from afar. And oh my goodness, that clothesline with mass speed taking Sagat down. And now Mugen. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's time, it's time for some redemption here. Mugen. Oh my goodness. Just rails his head onto the steel pole. As Mugen is never the one to play fair. We know that. That's no secret. 
that never those punches to the back of the head of Sagat. Looks like Mingus getting back on track here. Oh, wait a minute. Sagat reverses that attempt there. DDT will stop him there. Mugen is out. Sagat now Irish up Mugen up to the corner. What's he planning here? Sagat. Oh no, the knee, but no Mugen able to reverse it. And there goes a chop for Sagat. And a punch for Sagat. But Mugen starts to feel the effects of those steel pole shots that he took earlier. But Mugen's gonna keep fighting here. He's gonna keep fighting and work with a punch. Followed by a chop. But again, Mugen Mugen is head. Oh, oh no. German suplex! Him, but the rope break by Mugen. And Mugen is really just feeling the after effects of Sagat's offense here. And who knows? Who knows who's going to win this match? As Mugen has proven he can go with the best. He can fight with the best. But Sagat has been on an impressive roll. It's really anybody's match. The winner will face Ryu in the finals. Maybe we don't know still. But this is going to be one hell of a match to decide who is really the king of the elite. Now Sagat grapples Mugen. It's oh, come on! And Sagat with a low blow onto Mugen. I have no idea why Sagat has to do these tricks. He's very skilled, he's very talented, and yet he chooses to do low blows here. I, I, I don't understand. Now Sagat takes down Mugen with that back body drop. And it looks like Sagat feeling the momentum going his way, and who can blame him at this point? And Mugen's looking for the ropes here, but Sagat has worked the arm work. I forgot he needs to let go before the count of five rows. He's disqualified from this tournament and this match. And does have the count of three. We got now Irish with Mugen to the corner here. Boom on the punch right there. Elbow to the face. And an uppercut. And a knee will follow to end that sequence. So like I said, ACW Genesis is coming close. The match card is as follows. It will be Momochi Zabaza taking on the last ACW Turbo Champion, Kazuki Muto. There's a lot of history between those two. It'll culminate at ACW Genesis. Then you have it for the ACW Excel Tag Team Championships. It will be Team Guy challenging the champions, the Street Fighters, in a match that, again, those two have history. Street Fighters defeated Team Guy at Animania 2 to become the Excel Tag Team Champions for the first time. And then for the ACW World Destiny Championship, and this one has a lot of history in it. It will be Angle in one-on-one -on -one against Zuko. Wait a minute, Mugo with the cover, so now with the rope. But as I said, Angle will go one-on-one -on -one against Zuko. The winner will be the Road to Destiny Champion that Ang won at Animania 2, which Zuko was a part of in that Road to Destiny match. So, a lot of history in and out of the ring between those two. And then, we have Sasuke Uchiha going one-on-one -on -one against his former mentor, uh, Kakashi Atake. Again, history being the theme for this card. Those two have a lot of history in and out of the ring. It'll culminate in an Intercontinental Championship match. Sasuke, will he be able to be the one to retain the belt against his former mentor, or will Kakashi Atake prove he was always better than the pupil? And look at the Mugen going up top here. Oh, and a double act handle sets the guy down. And then, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we're covered by Mugen. One, two, the guy gets his arm up. And then after that, it will be Kaniku, man, making his ACW debut in-ring match against Moroku the Monk. Moroku the Monk was the ACW Excel champion. He blames Kaniku, man, making his debut and making his presence known on ACW as the sole reason why Moroku the Monk is no longer champion. So those two will battle it out and see who was right and who was wrong at this point. Kaniku, man, saying he wants to save wrestling and he's going to go through Moroku the Monk to do that. And then finally for the ACW Excel Championship, the main event of the match, the main event of the card. Wait, wait a minute, wait, what's Mugen doing here? Mugen, oh, tosses the guy, shoulder, onto the pole there, and a knee to the gut. And it looks like Mugen's has in control here. Haru Glory will go one-on-one -on -one against Hie for the ACW Excel Championship. Hie was drafted to the ACW Excel and looked to make his mark very quickly by the by attacking Haru in very multiple situations and will have a chance to face the champion for the belt at ACW Genesis. So that's ACW Genesis. It is coming December of this year to wrap up 2011 right here on YouTube and Blip TV and Bio as well. So Bio will be the one sponsoring with us as well. And we will, re and we will review the card one more time at the end of this match so you don't miss a thing. 
And wait a minute, the reference down here. Now, so guy has a chair. You get his loopy here. Oh, and a chair shot. And so God is using a chair. I have no idea why, but he's using it. So guy is using a chair while the rev is down. Chair sh No, you can have the chair now. Boom out to Sagan! And the referee's back up just in time! Mugen! Mugen fighting Sagan here! Mugen! The stunner! Stunner! Stunner by God! Stunner! And Mugen takes down the Mutai Master! He's gonna go for the cover here! What? Sagan can get the- Sagan can get out of the stunner, not even a one count! This- this- this is a- this is unheard of! And now Mugen doesn't know what to do, he's gonna have to keep fighting here! And Mugen rushes with the clothesline! Oh man, Mugen is fighting for his life here. If the stunner couldn't put away Sagat, what will? And now Sagat will Irish rip Mugen now. Big foot right onto Mugen, and the uppercut, the tiger uppercut there! That's Sagat! Oh, and the referee attack once again. There's the uppercut! There's that tiger uppercut! By Sagat! Oh, and Sagat's freaking down! And Sagat pushes Mugen back. And now Mugen now attacks. No, Sagat reverses the Irish rip. Go over there because miss. And what's this? German suplex. And Mugen got out of it. And the reference right back up. Mugen. No, Sagat reverses Mugen's attempt. Wait a minute. Mugen. Oh, no, no, no. The Tiger Bomb. Oh, my goodness. The most devastating move that Sagat has. The Tiger Bomb. On to Mugen. Could this be it? One, two, three. And yes, it is. Sagat. Defeats Mugen here in the semi-finals, and it looks like the guy will face will face Ryu in the finals. And what a hell of a match that'll be with his team behind the side. The winner of Ryu and Sagat will claim to be the king of anime, the king of the league, king of ACW, whatever you want to call it. But it's the finals. Ryu, Sagat in the finals. I'm our team Johnson telling you to stay cool.